biology essay we have a question here and answer for you we request you to watch this video up to the end if this is your first time to watch our videos we request you to consider subscribing uh, the question is how are the leaves of higher plants adapted to their functions uh, you give points you get 20 marks uh, the first point they have broad and flattened lamina to increase surface area for absorption of light they have blade uh, they have thin blade to reduce distance for diffusion of gases and the penetration of light waves uh, next one they have transparent epidermis and cuticle to allow light to penetrate to tissues um, if there is a point that we have not indicated here we request you at the end of video you write for us in the comment section we have the next point is that cuticle uh, layer it ha it does not uh, there is no uh, cuticle layer in the stomata or cuticle layer absent on stomata this is to allow the shears exchange next we have uh, they have one cell thick epiderm epidermal layer this is to reduce the distance over which sunlight penetrates we have the next one palisade uh, cells have numerous chloroplast containing chlorophyll to trap maximum amount of light energy then they have stomata on the epidermis to allow gaseous exchange and control of water loss through transpiration so those are the points that you are dealing with we have said a cuticle layer does not have uh, we do not have a cuticle layer on a stomata eh? and this one is to allow gaseous exchange and then they are they have one cell thick in other words it is very thin thin epidermal layer to reduce the distance over which sunlight penetrates then the uh, palisade cells have numerous chloroplasts containing chlorophyll to trap a maximum amount of light energy then they have stomata on the epidermis to allow gases exchange and control water loss through transpiration um we move to the next the next point uh, then the spongy mesophyll consists of spherical and loosely packed cells to create air spaces which communicate with the atmosphere through stomata for purposes of gaseous exchange and control of water loss we are at the middle of this video and uh, this is the time uh, we request you to subscribe to our channel if you have not yet subscribed uh, also we want to request our subscribers uh, to hit like button we are coming back welcome back our listener we believe that you have uh, liked this video you have also hit bell icon down there we, we are dealing with a question on how are the the leaves of higher plants are adapted to their functions uh, next point is on veins have conducting tissues that is xylem for movement of water and dissolved mineral salts so we have uh, conducting tissues 
in this case of the plant we have xylem and and uh, this one is used for movement of water and uh, dissolved mineral salt we also talked about uh, spongy mesophyll uh, which consists of spherical and loosely packed cells to create air spaces which communicate with the atmosphere through stomata for purposes of gaseous exchange and control of water loss so in our next question you are told explain how various teeth adapt mammals for nutrition explain how the various teeth adapt mammals for nutrition in other words they are asking you uh, to explain how uh, various teeth of mammals are adapted to their functions we have a uh, number one incisa Inci incisas they are sharp they are seesaw shaped for biting and cutting food uh, they have one root for support in the jaw bone then we have canines canines are long they are sharp pointed for holding prey they are also uh, they are used for piercing and tearing flesh from prey also they have single roots for support in jaw bone uh, then we have uh, the next one we have the next type of teeth which are called premolars premolars are large we can also say they are wide to increase surface area for grinding food they are highly capsed to increase surface area for grinding food they have two roots for farm support or anchorage in the jaw bone then we have molars molars have uh, they are large or they have large or wide uh, surface area for grinding food they are highly capsed to increase surface area for grinding uh, food um we are through with this video we thank you for watching and uh, we request you to subscribe to this channel if you have not yet subscribed uh, take two or three seconds hit subscribe button like button and bell icon and we shall appreciate um, if there is any other point that you have not uh, highlighted on uh, this video concerning uh, adaptation of higher leaves how they are adapted to their functions and how teeth of mammals are adapted to their functions i would request you to consider writing in the comment section and uh, when learners will come there uh, they will find it very easy to do their revision uh, we are through with this video until next time uh, goodbye for now Thank you.